What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be showing you three separate automations that are going to help you streamline your workflows and more specifically, what to do when a lead books a call on your calendar from your smart lead account. And so regardless of whether you're a beginner or you're advanced, this video is going to be very helpful for you as I'm going to be showing three automations with varying levels of difficulty. And so the very first level is going to be helping us change the smart lead category to whatever we want whenever a lead books a meeting. And so let's say they were in uh, a different category or they're uncategorized, we can mark them as meeting booked, meeting request, that would be up to you. And we would also pause all of the campaigns that the lead is in. And so if they're in a different campaign or they're in a subsequence, we would be able to do that all automatically. And that's what this automation here is going to be helping us accomplish. From there, we would be progressing on to the second level, which is not only going to do everything that level one did, but on top of that, it's going to be helping us add the smart lead email address to our calendar invitation. And so if we look at this event right here, we're able to see two attendees. We can see the Leonardo person right here. We can also see myself with this email, which is going to be different than the email that is right here. And by the way, where we get these emails is from SmartLead. And so whichever email address sent the email, we're going to be adding that on the calendar invitation. And the reason why that's important is let's say someone books a call one week out uh, ahead. By the time that meeting sh comes up, they're going to have forgotten why they booked the call to begin with. And so what they're going to end up doing is they're going to end up copying your email address searching for the thread in their inbox like this, um, after which if there's nothing there, they're either going to no show or they're going to decline the invitation. And so what this is going to help us do is reduce the no shows that we have with each of the events that we're booking from there we're going to be progressing onto the third level, which is this automation right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to help us add this lead information into our CRM into something like this. And so whenever a lead books, not only are we doing everything that we did in level one and level two, but we're also updating the CRM with tags like this. And what this is going to help us do is help us with reporting. And so now I can see how many leads are no showing and how many leads are showing up on calls. And like when I click on this, for example, I've got all the leads right here. And obviously I use ClickUp, but not everyone uses ClickUp. And so if you use HubSpot, Close, uh, whatever, all of these email, all of these automations are going to be the same. And so let's dive deep into the first level. And so the, the trigger is going to be this watch events module from Google calendar. If you don't use Google calendar, you can use like, um, uh, uh, Calendly trigger. Um, you can use any sort of like this watch events trigger. You can use that. Um, you can use a webhook as well. It's really up to you. But me personally, I prefer to use the Google calendar watch events trigger. From there, we're going to be parsing through all of the attendees and excluding uh, the organizer, which would be myself. But if there was also other people from my company, perhaps we can just exclude the, anybody that has the uh, at afonto.com email. From that, we're going to be finding all of those all of those additional attendees and searching for them within smart lead using this URL right here. And what that's going to do when we run it is it's going to produce data like this. And so we were just talking about Leonardo right here. We're going to be getting all of his information, but the key thing we're looking for is his campaign data. And so this is going to produce an array. And so if he was in a subsequence, another campaign and this main campaign, there would be different arrays. Uh, but in this scenario, we only have one campaign that he's in. And so we're, we're getting returned one piece of information. But the thing we're looking for is the campaign ID. And what we're going to be doing is inputting that campaign ID right here. But again, like I said, since this is giving us an array of 
different campaigns we're going to need to iterate through them so that we can get them one by one so that we can pause them and change the categories one by one and so that's what this is going to look like and we would be adding this request content right here which we've gathered from the api documentation here and so if you wanted to add if you wanted to change the category to any of these you would simply use these different ids however in a situation where you've uh created your own custom categories like this you're going to need to run this api uh, api call right here so this url uh i believe i've already run it yes so you're going to need to run that just uh in a different module so that you can see all of the categories that are in your smart lead account from there you're going to get all of the different ids that you can use now we've just grabbed that id the six six um seven four zero we would simply put that here if we wanted a different category cool and so let's move on to the second step uh the level two of this automation like i said it does everything that level one does but on top of that we're going to be adding the smart lead email to the calendar invitation and so what we're going to need to do differently is use this call right here what this is going to do is it's going to fetch the message history um, which is going to show us a bunch of information about like what was sent what was replied to but the key data we're looking for is who this email was from and we've got that email right here once we've got that email we're going to be adding it on the calendar invitation as an attendee and so as you see i've added the from email the noel at 55 knots.info i've added it here and so that's everything now why is there a router here while there was no router here um it's because we're updating the google calendar invitation and so the the difference uh in the what's at the top and what's at the bottom is that we're going to be in one instance appending the attendees and in another instance we're not going to be appending the attendees like this what this means functionally speaking is that in the calendar invitation this one here has not been appended and so we've basically switched who's on the calendar invitation we we like <laughs> It's actually kind of hard to explain, but maybe maybe at once I show you this, you'll understand. So in this scenario, there was multiple people on the calendar invitation, um, if it can pop up. So you, you see right here, there's multiple people on the calendar invitation and the organizer is myself. And so we kept myself there. We kept every single person here as well, um, but we simply added the smart lead email address here. On the other scenarios, we actually deleted every single person who was on the calendar invite, and then we just created a brand new invite with new people who have the same emails emails as the ones that set up the calendar invitation. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but in any case, as you'll see here, there's no Noel at a Fonto email address, but the invitation is still on my calendar. And so despite the fact that we're deleting them and re-adding them, it's still going to show up on their calendar. Um, anyways, that is level two. The third level is going to be adding these leads onto your CRM uh, like this. And so the first thing that we're going to be doing differently is we're going to be fetching the lead information within the CRM, after which if the lead exists in the CRM, we're going to simply do everything that we did in level two but this time around, we're going to add a tag that they have been booked. If the lead does not exist in the CRM, we're going to need to uh, create the lead within the CRM and then add the tag after they have been booked, uh, after they have been added to the CRM. And so that's basically everything. This is all the levels. It looks complicated, but it's not. Because um, anytime a lead books, we're only going through this once. We're not doing all of these simultaneously. We're just doing base. We're, we're going through each individual row 
based on the filters that are set up. And so that's the video. If you guys have any questions, if you would like to learn a little bit more about any particular sections, uh, please leave a comment, leave a like, and we'll be happy to make those videos for you. Cheers! Thank you.